Hello, my name is Andrea. I am content manager at Marketco, and today I'm going to be sharing with you some of Facebook updates, specifically about Facebook new pages experience, task access, and more. So we're going to go over what is new, classic pages versus new pages, things you should be aware of before making a change, task access and Facebook access, and if you should go ahead and make this change. So classic pages versus new pages. Classic pages are pretty much the pages we have always known. Most likely you still have a classic page. Um, the best way to know or the easiest way to know is with your profile picture. If your profile picture is all the way to the left, then you have a classic page. If you have a new page, then your profile picture will be right in the middle, just as you would in your personal profile. So what's new? The point of having these pages is that Facebook wants a more user-friendly experience, something that is more intuitive to use. So we're going to see how this eventually plays out in the next couple of months, but that is the big goal. The first thing that you will notice, the first big change, is that there is a separate newsfeed. This is to have an easier switch between a public profile and an individual one. So for example, if I'm managing Marqueco's page, then I would have a profile as my individual one, which would be Andrea. There, I would be able to follow my friends, my family, anything that is of personal interest to me. And then I would also have a news feed for Marqueco where I could go ahead and follow other companies, things of interest in my industry, in the niche we're having. So really it's um, a way that you can go ahead and keep up with the events that are going on around you for your industry without having to go ahead and sacrifice your individual newsfeed as, as your own Facebook profile. They also have updated management tools where, where it is easier to give access to your team, better insights and notifications that just uh, apparently are more relevant to your page specifically. Scheduling posts are not available yet on pages, so you will need to use Facebook Business Suite or Creator Studio, but pretty much you still have access to newsfeed, Instagram account linking, advertising, monetization, followers, insights, the blue badge, the page management by multiple people, and many other tools such as inbox, stories, groups, and events. So it's just a way to make it a little bit more intuitive by keeping the same building blocks. So some things to be aware of before you migrate. First of all, page the new pages experience is not available for all pages yet. The requirements are a little iffy. Um, it's kind of a, a random thing where you might have access to it and you might not. So keep that in mind. Not everyone can do this yet. Second, classic page roles are not available. You're going to have to use either Facebook access or task access, which we will cover in a little bit. Third, you can only manage from a mobile Facebook app, but not from a browser. That's, that's not the end of the world. It's just something you should be aware of that you're going to have to download the Facebook app if you still want to manage it from your mobile device. Uh, some business features such as jobs, appointments, and offers uh, might be lost, or you're going to have to use other Facebook tools to be able to access them. Same goes with classic page features such as reviews, check-ins, and page templates. Um, now six, it's very critical. You may or may not be able to migrate back to classic pages. So let's say you went ahead and made a change to a new pages experience. You see that you don't like it. You want to switch back to classic pages. Well, you might not be able to, not all accounts can go ahead and make these changes. So if you're not sure about new pages experience, I would recommend for you to give it a little, a little more thought because you will not be able to go ahead and, and go back to classic pages and you do not know this until it is too late so you cannot know if your account is eligible to be migrating back and forth until you have actually made the change now next some content may not migrate such as stories uh, your bio some advertisements and some ads and messages may be misplaced so they may not appear on your regular feed they may be hiding somewhere and you're going to go ahead and have to look everywhere for them. Next, classic publishing tools are not available on pages yet. So you're going to have to use other tools like Creator Studio, Facebook Business Suite, Business Manager and such. 
And last but not least, your likes and your followers. New Pages does not have likes. You only have followers. So you might lose some of the, of the likes you had before. For example, if you have a page and someone only likes but does not follow your page, that like will be lost and they will not automatically convert to followers. So if you're thinking about switching, go ahead and incentivize your the people who like your page to go ahead and follow it too. Now about task access and new roles. We're going to go ahead and start with Facebook access. Facebook access is a tool that allows other people to have the same access as you with full or partial control of the accounts. So it allows you to access everything from content, insights, settings, bans, task access, just a lot of other things. But really, it's a way for you to have seamless integration, for you and your team to have seamless integration between Facebook's pages and other tools such as Business Manager, Business Suite, and Creator Studio. All right, and moving on to task access. Task access is very similar to assigning page roles on classic pages. So if you have classic pages, the roles you could assign were editor, moderator, advertiser, and analyst. So it's basically the same idea, but instead of having roles, you're going to have tasks. So here it is your opportunity to get very specific. Go ahead and give your team access to the tasks they will be performing, no matter what their role in your company is. So this way you don't get confused with different roles and names. You go ahead and you know what you need to do. You give them access to that. You're able to choose the tools. So it's very, um, you have a, a, a lot of more control over what your team can access, what your team can edit, what your team can do. So for example, uh, you can go ahead and say, all right, you can you have the, ta the, the task of community activity. So here, your team member can go ahead and review and respond to comments, remove unwanted content and report activity. And that's that. If you need, um, if you need them to go ahead and also look at ads, then you go ahead and, and add them to a different task. But it allows you to have a little bit more control. And also note that any actions people with tax, task access take will be visible to anyone to help manage the page. So it just gives you another layer of accountability. Now, the big question is, should you migrate? No. Right now, do not migrate, and here's why. As it is a very promising feature. It is still in development. We don't know how the next couple of months are going to play out, if Facebook will declare it a big fail and just shut it down, or if it, they're going to move forward with it. So just wait a couple of months to see what's going to, to happen, because also with access and permission levels, they might be lost or altered when you make a change. So for example, if you're owner of an account, you can go ahead and lose that ownership when you make a change or if someone in your team had certain permission levels. They will they can also be changed. Uh, there are lost posts because if you're posting on a classic page and then changing to a new page, some of the posts might be misplaced. Or if you're posting on the new page and you're going to and you and you change back to a classic page, those posts and ads will be lost. There's no way to retrieve them. Also, your Facebook ad campaigns can have impacts due to the changes. And at the moment, we have seen a lot of complaints with bugs from people that cannot go ahead and, and live stream from ads that are not working, messenger that's not sending messages or that they get lost. So really, it's uh, something that's Facebook is still working on. So my recommendation is just be a little, be, be patient. Really, there is no need to rush into this. Um, it does not have a feature that I would say, you need to do it now because of this feature. Look at what you're missing out. No, really, it's, it's pretty cool the way they're updating, but there is no need to rush into it. Go ahead, give it a little time and see how it plays out. So thank you very much for watching this video. If you have any questions, please go ahead and reach out in the comments below. And if you find this information useful, please like and subscribe. Uh, we also have another couple of resources for you. We have a weekly newsletter on updates on social media and digital marketing. Absolutely no spam. It's pretty cool too. We have practice questions if you're thinking about getting Facebook Blueprint certified. 
and a Facebook Blueprint certification group to get support for any Facebook related question. I'm going to go ahead and link all of these resources below. Go ahead and check them out. Let us know what you think. And thank you very much. I'll see you next time.